Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi wahdah wassalatu wassalamu ala man la nabiyya ba'dah amma ba'd. Hazrat Umair ibn Wahhab radhiyallahu ta'ala an. Hazrat Umair ibn Wahhab took part in the battle of Badr, but he was fighting on the side of the mushrikeen of the side of the disbelievers. After the battle of Badr, his son was taken captive by the Muslims. When Umair ibn Wahhab returned back to Makkah al he had a discussion, a conversation with someone by the name of Safwan ibn Umayyah. And Safwan ibn Umayyah told him that if you go to Madinat al munawwara and if you, na'udhu billah, kill the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then I will take care of all your belongings, I will take care of all your debts, all your finances, everything will be of my responsibility. So Hazrat Umar ibn Wahab, he was motivated by this offer of Safwan ibn Umayyah and he travelled to Madinat al munawwara with the intention to na'udhu billah kill the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At that time when Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he saw uh, him coming, he saw Umar ibn Wahab coming, Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu got very angry, he grabbed him from his, from his, from his, from his chest and he dragged him to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And at that time the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Hazrat Umar that leave him. And let, let Hazrat Umar come close to me. So when Hazrat Umar ibn Wahhab came close to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him that why have you come to me? And at that time, Umar ibn Wahhab he said to the Prophet that I have come to negotiate my release, and he did not tell the Prophet about the plan to to obviously assassinate him. Then at that time, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam obviously got revelation from Allah, and he informed Umar ibn Wahhab of the discussion that he had in Makkah and of the plan that they had made to kill the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And as soon as Hazrat Umar ibn Wahhab he heard the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying this, he said that this has to be the true Prophet of Allah because no other than myself and Safar ibn Umayyah knew of this. And at that time, Umar ibn Wahhab, he accepted Islam and he obviously served Islam greatly from then onwards and he took part in many battles and he died, alhamdulillah, as a sahabi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him. Ameen.